Wind whipped wildfire has been wreaking havoc in California since two days now, forcing residents to flee houses and nearby vegetation was set ablaze on Thursday. And in order to avoid further damage, the Southern California Utilities has now cut off power to tens of thousands of homes. The blaze in Orange County's Silverado Canyon began late on Wednesday, induced by a house fire that quickly spread to tinder dry brush. It exploded in size throughout the night, and as the sun came up, an enormous plume of smoke was visible for miles. A blaze in San Diego County threatened about 200 homes, and officials said that hundreds were deployed to work on evacuation of residents in the area. Two U.S. firefighters were injured while battling to douse the fire. Last update was 7,200 acres been consumed, 0% containment. We know that a number of houses have been damaged, potentially destroyed, where they're being assessed right now. We should have that number at some point. We just don't have the details and don't want to share uh, potentially erroneous information. Mandatory evacuations were ordered for residents of Mordresca, Silverado and Williams Canyons. The Orange County Sheriff's Office assisted with the evacuation of about 25,000 people. These winds have worsened the already dire situation. Red flag warnings were issued by the Weather Department, which also warned the residents of a rare extreme fire danger warning. California is already reeling under the effects of the worst ever wildfires this year, and more than 6,500 square miles have been scorched already. At least 31 people have been killed and tens of thousands of homes and other structures damaged or destroyed completely. The latest fire threat comes as much of California plunges deeper into a drought. Experts have time and again raised concerns over Southern California being abnormally dry or worse due to climate change, making trees and plants in the nearby vegetation areas more flammable. A Lancet report has issued a stern warning about how rising temperatures and effects of climate change can cause future pandemics. The annual report tracks 40-plus indicators on links between health and climate change. This year's data reveals the most worrisome trends yet. The report has concluded that healthcare systems are ill-prepared to tackle the shocks of climate change. Extreme heat is leading to fast-rising mortality worldwide. It is threatening the livelihoods of millions. The Lancet report has observed that almost 300,000 people over the age of 65 years died from extreme heat in 2018. This figure has risen by 54% in two decades. The growing health threats linked to climate change could overwhelm healthcare systems without more efforts to prepare them for the pressures of a warming world. At the same time, two-thirds of 814 cities surveyed expect climate change to seriously compromise their public health infrastructure. The global average temperature has risen by 1 to 2 degrees Celsius. December 12, 2020 will mark the anniversary of the 2015 Paris Agreement. Countries are set to update their national commitments to limit the temperature rise to well below 2 degrees Celsius.